Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Seabass with Dill. And man, the Super Bowl is just a few days away, so I'm trying to crank out a whole bunch of appetizer videos to make you have the best Super Bowl party ever. Today, I've got a really good one. You're going to want to make sure you get this. We're doing a Rotel dip. So make sure if you're not already, go ahead, like, subscribe, follow, do all of the things so that you don't miss any of these great recipes. Before we get into our ingredients today, shout out to my friends over at Ballholics for the hoodie. Always taking care of me. If you guys are looking for some great gear, go check them out. But ingredients for today. I know I said Rotel Dip. Rotel Dip's got like four ingredients. And I'm taking a few liberties with this recipe because this is the way I like to make it. And it's, it's really, really good. I like to have a little bit of meat in my cheese dip. So if you want to call this a, a, a queso or, or whatever, but... Clearly, we got some Rotel, we'll be using that. We got some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. You know we got the Bassett's blend all purpose today. Some cilantro, chorizo, evaporated milk. Uh, we got cream cheese, pepper jack, and some cheddar. And then I'll fry up my own tortillas as well. So let's get into it. You're also gonna need a crock pot for this recipe. Wanna keep it real simple, easy to do. So if you got a crock pot, great. Otherwise, you can do this on the stove over really, really low. Heat. All right, guys, so the first thing that we got to do for our dip is we got to cook up our chorizo. But before we cook that up, what we want to do is we want to just slice it right down the back. We're going to remove it from the casing. This is going to help it break up and crumble so that it gets into our dip nice and you know, round up a little bit, a little bit better. So we'll take this. I'm going to go ahead. I'll slice the rest of these up, pull them out of the casings, and then we'll get to cooking off Let's our, get our burner going. We'll put this on a medium high heat, get that pan going, and then we're just gonna brown off this chorizo, get it nice and cooked, and then everything is gonna go right into our crock pot. This heat up for a little bit, and then we'll add in our chorizo. All right, pan is good, let's add in our chorizo. And again, we're just going to sort of mash this up, grind it up, and cook it down so that it can go right into our crock pot. So let's get this cooked up. I'll meet you guys back here when we're ready to uh, add everything to our crock pot. So about four or five minutes, our chorizo is nice and you know brown, cooked through here. We wanna make sure we drain off any excess fat. Really easy way to do this is if we push it all to one side, tilt that pan a little bit, let the grease run down. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and soak that up. It's about three to five minutes. Chorizo is done. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this together. Okay guys, now it's time to put everything together. We've got our crock pot. We've got this on a low setting. I gotta set it on low. We're gonna take our pound and a half of chorizo. That's gonna go in. And don't worry, all the specific measurements, I'll put them down in the caption for you so you won't miss out on those. All right, so we got a pound and a half of chorizo. Two cans of Rotel. We're gonna go ahead and add in some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. About half a can. Again, this can be pretty spicy. It's gonna add some great smoke flavor to it as well. Um, as much or as little as you like. You don't have to use any if you don't want to. Optional ingredient there. We're gonna go in with eight ounces of cream cheese. We've got some cheddar cheese. We've got pepper jack cheese. We've got some Colby Jack cheese. Whatever cheese you like, you can put in here. Listen, if you want to use Velveeta, I'm not going to judge. You do what you want to. All right, we need 12 ounces of evaporated milk. We're going to use a little bit of some Worcestershire sauce. We need one packet of Saison. And then we're gonna finish it off with obviously my Bassett's Blend all-purpose seasoning here. Again, as much or as little as you like. Nice and seasoned. We'll go ahead and put this lid on. We're gonna cook this for two hours. It's gonna melt perfectly and we're gonna stir it about every 30 minutes or so just to make sure we get all those flavors melded, combined together and we've got a great, great Rotel. Okay, let's give it a little check. 30 minutes in, we'll go ahead, we're gonna give this a stir. 
Cheese is starting to melt. Oh man, this smells fantastic. This is gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best cheese dip, Rotel dip that you've had. So let's get this mixed as well as we can. Like that. And we'll set that timer for another 30 minutes. And we'll come back. And we'll stir some more. For our final stir. This thing has been going for like two hours now. And I mean, we've got this just nice, creamy, cheesy Rotel dip, guys. All right, time to plate this up. We'll garnish it up a little bit and get this ready to serve for our Super Bowl party. Now, the plate up for this is going to be really simple. I'm just going to put this into a casserole dish that I'm going to use to serve with. You could certainly, you know, leave it in the crock pot if you wanted to. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. But I don't want to. So this is how we're going to do this. It looks great. We're going to put a little bit of Rotel on top, finish it with some cilantro. We'll get our house-made tortilla chips that we just fried up. And this, I mean, it just smells. Okay, we'll finish off the top with a little bit more of our Rotel. Get some of those tomatoes on top. Just again, for some color, make it look real good. And then we hit it a little bit of cilantro on the top. Our Rotel dip ready for game. The only thing to do now is to give it a try. Oh, yeah. No, they're going to ask you to make this for every gathering, for every event. So good. Until the next dish, y'all.